How easily can you uh, form a new belief? How easily can you change it? With a healthy two, three, four, five years old, anything you tell them, they go, oh, really? <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, whatever you say or not, you know? And, but when you go with a, with a 30 years old that was born, in, born to believe that, you know, this about women, that about men, this about myself, this is one of the most painful things that people can live throughout life. Very hard to change. I'm no good. Nobody loves me. I'm never going to get what I want. I mean, I have a number of friends that their whole profession is working directly on people's belief systems. But belief systems are also, I mean, you know, professionally with other people, but belief systems are in a neurolog neurological configuration. Thinking is, is a highly organizing mechanism of the organizing the body and the everything. I think it's important to repeat that a little slower. So I think you said belief systems are a neurological organization. Oh, absolutely. Thinking is real, you know, because it doesn't have a, a direct concrete mechanical, you know, correlate to it. It's kind of like the thing that happens and we don't know if we're thinking or not thinking. I just finished teaching nine days to my graduates on movement, thinking and cognition. And to, to really understand the relationship and we form thoughts. We form habitual thoughts, which are not really thoughts anymore. It's just a habit. We just runs because thought is something new, a real thought. So, so, and, and that's one of the m most powerful identifying factors of older people is that they're rigid in their thinking. 